<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my search for the best bakery in Sydney. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 yet, let me bring you up to speed. Basically, the idea for this series came about after I went to Melbourne and tried out Lude Croissants. And for the record, I'm generally more of a savoury rather than a sweets person, which was why I was genuinely surprised at how much I freaking love Lude Croissants. And that got me thinking, is there an equivalent of better bakery in Sydney? Spoiler alert, I do think there is. So in part one, I checked out AP Bakery and in part two, I went to Loads Pies and Pastries. I've linked both of those videos in the description box in case you want to watch this series chronologically. But you don't have to, this is not one of those kind of series. In this here part three, we are going to be checking out Tenacious Bakehouse, which is home to this sexy tart that has been all over social media. This Korean-owned bakery stands out amongst its contemporaries and not only because it embraces its Korean influences, it takes risks with it. The result is an array of out-of-the-box pastries that are unlike anything you'll get in Sydney. And if you've never been, you are not ready for what I'm about to show you. By the way, I'm Steve from The Fat Life Project. I post weekly food and travel content. And so if that sounds like your jam, I highly recommend clicking on that subscribe button so that we can go on more fat adventures together. Tenacious Bakehouse is located at 101 Oxford Street in Darlinghurst. The store entry and deco are so low-key that no one would blame you if you walked straight past it. After all, they are positioned in one of Sydney's most vibrant streets. They are open from 8am to 4pm on all days apart from Mondays and the best time to hit there if you want to avoid crowds are Monday to Thursdays as they start to get really busy on Fridays and are the busiest obviously on the weekends. As always, I've included the Google Map pins in my description box so that you can plan your travel accordingly. Tenacious Bakehouse is the brainchild of Yongjin Park. No, not this Yongjin Park, but Chef Yongjin Park, formerly the pastry chef at Load Pies and Piccolio. You may recall we covered Load's Pies and Pastries last week in part 2. They opened in 2022 and have rapidly rose to become the go-to spot for the best pastries in Sydney. I hit it there on a Thursday afternoon and just knew I was in for a delicious feed when I walked up to their counter. I mean, everything looked and smelled amazing. Here we go, man. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. You too. Ooh, got the goods. If you've been following my Best Bakeries in Sydney series so far, you would already know that I always start with a plain croissant. This is because a good plain croissant has to be able to stand on its own without any additional toppings or flavors to hide behind. It is also for this reason that the use of jam, butter, or any form of spread is not permitted for this test. If the croissant is good, then the bakery and all its other pastries are then, in my humble opinion, worth trying. Here we have the sourdough croissant from Tenacious Bakehouse. Let's start by administering the crunch test. A good plain croissant should be flaky on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside. Like this. Let's do it. You definitely want to also see this bubble-like cross-section which is a sign that this is a winning croissant. It was delicious, but I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less from the ex-pastry chef at Lode. We are off to a fantastic start. I originally wanted to follow the plain croissant with something completely left field and trust me, we will get there, but there was something about the way this chocolate croissant looked that just made me want to get it. And I knew I made the right call as soon as I smelt it. Given how good the plain croissant was, I knew this would for sure pass the crunch test, but there's only one way to know for sure. Here we go. Amazing crunch test scores aside, this also had generous cuts of chocolate inside and honestly is one of the best chocolate croissants I've ever had. This next pastry is one of the most unattractive pastries I've ever seen, but it came highly recommended by the server at the counter. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what it reminds me of, but I think you can probably already guess. Still, I took a leap of faith and went with the recommendation and man, I am glad I did. This pastry is heavily inspired by the Korean sweet rice cake in Jolmi. It is cruffin shaped and just like the sweet rice cake, it is also dusted in a mung bean powder. But here comes the twist. The cruffin is filled with custard cream and a red bean paste. And yeah, they did not hold back on the filling either. 
This was also by far the messiest pastry I ate here at Tenacious, but I would just say that if you don't get this one when you visit, you are missing out. This Injomi inspired pastry has made my reorder list. I mean, there's something about the combination of the buttery flaky pastry with the creaminess of the red bean custard as well as that mung bean powder that makes the whole thing just so damn delicious. This next pastry is it yet another example of why Tenacious Bakehouse simply stands out amongst all other bakeries in Sydney. This is a pistachio dusted pastry with a sweet potato filling and when I heard the word pistachio, I was sold. First off, A plus on presentation as it is truly beautiful to look at. I have to be honest though and admit that I was a bit hesitant about the sweet potato filling as I feared that it would be too creamy. Yes, that's right, I'm not a huge fan of creamy food, scandalous I know. Thankfully, the filling was not creamy but instead simply had a fragrant sweet potato aroma to it. Now I don't know about you but I would never think that sweet potato and pistachio would work together but you know what, it really did. I highly recommend you give this a go. If this was a show, this would be the superstar of the show. The piece de resistance of this bakehouse is this Portuguese tart which is their flagship and it's also how I first heard of Tenacious Bakehouse. I freaking love egg tarts, especially the ones that you can get at Yum Cha and so I already knew before trying this that I was going to love it. The Tenacious Bakehouse Portuguese tart comprises a super crispy multi-layered pastry that is designed to be deep enough to contain a generous filling of delicious egg custard. The pastry the pastry is also glazed with miso caramel giving it the slightly burnt characteristic reminiscent of Portuguese tarts. The custard though was cooked perfectly and taste wise I'm gonna say that it completely lives up to the hype. This tart has also made the reorder list. I am definitely getting this again when I revisit Tenacious. I've included the names and prices of the pastries I've tried in this video in my description box in case you decide to get exactly what I got. But I also want to hear from you, have you been to Tenacious Bakehouse and if so, what were your favourites? But also, if you've enjoyed this food tour, I would really appreciate a like. It is absolutely free to do, but it would just help my tiny little channel out so much. I also upload every Saturday, so be sure to also turn on that bell notification so that you can start your weekend with me. And by the way, this is part 3 of my Best Bakeries in Sydney series. If you haven't already, do feel free to check out parts 1 and 2 where I went to AP Bakery and Loads Pies and Pastries. I have linked both of those videos at the end of this video so that you can go ahead and watch either of those next. And if you want to see more of my Sydney based content, do feel free to check out the Sydney based playlist which I've included in my description box. And if you got to this point of the video, I want to thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I hope that you have a fantastic day or that you've already had a good day. As always, I will see you soon in the next video.